Coming up next, we count down the five best songs from the 80s synth pop maestro with direct commentary from him in an exclusive interview that we did. Uh, this includes several massive hits from the decade and how they were crafted. I'm Professor of Rock, brought to you by Zenny Eyewear. Hey, music junkies, Professor of Rock always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. If you are addicted to great music, this is your place. Just subscribe below and never miss an episode. Also, do us a favor. Throw us some love on Patreon. There's a link for that below as well, and that helps us. Welsh poet Brian Harris once eloquently wrote, To be born in Wells, not with a silver spoon in your mouth, but with music in your blood, and with poetry in your soul, is a privilege indeed. Now, he wrote this in 1967. You might say he was a bit of a psychic, because he perfectly describes the world's very own Welsh synth-pop poet Howard Jones, or as he's affectionately known by his fans, Hojo. A singer-songwriter for the ages, Hojo's music has always lifted her spirit when it's toiled with regret or sadness. I remember the first time I heard No One Is To Blame. I was nine years old in our Jeep Wagoneer on the way to a family reunion. I just found out at the last minute that instead of having the reunion at a water park, we had switched to a big cabin with no swimming pool, possibly a small stream, just enough to get our feet wet. As you can imagine, my nine-year-old soul was devastated. So when I heard the lyrics, you can dip your foot in the pool, but you can't have a swim, it resonated deeply with my plight and it instantly raised me up. Because Howard knew exactly, even literally, what I was going through. At that moment, as I sat just transfixed by this delicious slice of dreamy synth pop, I was transformed into a fan for life. Now, my story is no different than countless millions of other fans from Blackfoot, Idaho to Bogota, Colombia, and thousands of miles in any direction. Hojo has a knack for enclosing a plethora of intricate and assorted emotions inside three or four minutes, all, of course, entrenched in walls of lush synth magic. It's a world that anybody can experience with the touch of a play button. Now, with apologies to Mets third baseman shortstop Howard Johnson, there's only one Hojo. Howard Jones was born in Southampton, England, to Welsh parents. He grew up in Cardiff, South Wales, the eldest of four boys, and all of Hojo's brothers became musicians. At just seven years of age, Jones started taking piano lessons. In his teens, his family moved to Canada. He formed his first band, a prog rock act called Warrior. He returned to the UK for college, where he went to the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester through the mid-70s. And he hopped around to different bands. Now, during that time, Howard was heavily influenced by Buddhist practitioner Bill Bryant. He even wrote some lyrics to some of Hojo's songs. Howard started gigging as a solo act locally. At one point, he had a mime performing improv choreography while he played behind him. In 1983, Hojo rented the Marquee Club, a venue in London, and invited multiple labels to see him play. He played a BBC Radio 1 session and supported bands like OMD and China Crisis on tour. Apparently, early OMD was a big inspiration for Hojo, especially Enola Gay, which he's covered many times in his live sets. He then got a record deal with Warner Music in the middle of that year. His first single was New Song, and on its release in late 1983, it was a top 40 hit in America, and it hit the top five in his native UK. He debuted on Top of the Pops, that presented him to a larger audience, and from there he began his ascent to the top of the charts on both sides of the Atlantic. Several more hits would follow in the UK, including What Is Love, great song, and Pearl in a Shell, and his album Humans Live went to number one on the UK charts, certified gold and platinum in several countries. And in the beginning, his parents actually ran his fan club. Like to Get to Know You Well hit number four on the UK singles chart at that time, and it also appeared in the John Cusack film, Better Off Dead. In 1985, Hojo's second album, Dream Into Action, was released and it sold like hotcakes. It went to number two in the UK and top 10 in the US, spending almost a year on the charts here in America. He also participated in Live Aid, playing Wembley Stadium while performing his 84 hit, Hide and Seek. 
1986, a remixed version of No One Is To Blame went to number four in the U.S. It really deserved to be number one. It did hit that spot on the AC charts. Now, from there, Hojo actually became more popular in America. He had nine U.S. top 40 hits, including Lift Me Up, a number 12 hit in the 90s, when the musical landscape had really changed. Hojo has always written soul-raising, joyous songs. Now, every pop artist writes love songs, and they're sometimes hard to tell apart. But Hojo turned that on its head. For example, what is love? Instead of saying, baby, 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 I love you, baby, Howard looked to define it and question that universal zeal. We'll talk more about that in my fiver. Another aspect of Howard that I don't think people fully grasp is what a great pianist he is. I mean, you always rightfully hear about Elton John, Billy Joel, Steve Winwood. Howard is on that level. He's so creative, and though he doesn't flash it often, the guy could brandish the ivories with the best of them. I mean, go listen to a song like Hide and Seek or No One Is to Blame as compositions. Just breathtaking. If Hojo played all of his songs straight away on grand piano, people would realize the guy is superhuman. Now, there are some fans who've covered some of his songs this way on YouTube, and it's exceptional. His songs really could be restyled as new wave concertos and not Chopin out. Howard Jones was also one of the defining artists of the second British invasion. He definitely gave me and so many others our first taste of the steady diet of synth pop, new wave, and modern rock that would follow. He's still touring, still bringing the love and the joy with a live show that hammers the senses with enrichment and rapture. It's a must see. With that, here is my Hojo Fiver, my top five Howard Jones recorded performances. Number five, What Is Love? The second single from Human's Lib. This new wave classic reached number two in the UK and number 33 in the US in the summer of 84. Originally, the song was called simply Love, written by Howard and Bill Bryant. I've always loved the last lines, and maybe love is letting people be just what they want to be. The door always must be left unlocked. To love when circumstance may lead someone away from you and not to spend the time just doubting. Truly brilliant. I also love the 12 inch version and the meandering what is love vocal and backgrounds. Number four, Last Supper. This is an album cut from Cross That Line. I remember my cousin and best friend Mark and I were driving around listening to this on cassette shortly after it came out. And when this song came on, we just pulled over and listened. We were just hypnotized by this song. It really should have been a single. Let it go so the verses are so haunting and melancholy, while the chorus is just stirring and elevating. Here's what Howard said about it in a recent interview we did. It was actually um, brought on by somebody that I'd worked with for many years was gonna move on to pursue their own thing. And I was, I was wanting to express, you know, all the, um, all the emotions of that. So really that's, and it, it, it sounds like it's, you know, a romantic thing, but it, it can apply to many, many things. It's our last supper together, last time we're sharing this intimacy, we have created a suffering circle. And it, so it's gone a bit wrong. So it's time for it to, you know, to end. Number three, things can only get better from dream into action. This hit number five on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1985. It's a synth pop scorcher that gets you so high when you're feeling so down. And I have no doubt that as we discuss this right now, wherever you are, there are like 192,000 people or more listening to this very song on the radio or streaming, singing. In perfect unison. His music does that all the time. Now, we have a mini documentary on this with Howard telling us the backstory that we're going to be releasing very soon. Sign up for our premium content below to see it. This song features his mesmerizing falsetto. That's just so hojo. Number two, The Prisoner, the second single from Cross That Line. After the song Everlasting Love hit number one on the AC charts and number 12 on the Hot 100, this song went to number 30 in the summer of 1989. 
This song is mind-blowing. It's one of those perfect headphone songs, you know, with a massive symphony of synthesizers and Howard's strangely satisfying synthesized voice. A great lesson for all the auto-tuner peeps out there. This is the way you create a truly cool electronically enhanced voice. The guitars in the song are amazing. Here's what Hojo said about the song. I was really thinking about the idea of photographs capturing a person's soul. You know, that idea. And in a small way, when you take a picture of somebody and you have it in your possession, mm -hmm. you kind of have a little bit of them, don't you? That you can yeah. rea either react with or focus towards. So it's really, it's really about that then, and really about, in a way about um, somebody stalking somebody and going, you know, going crazy, blowing up these photographs they've taken secretly into huge posters. And it's, it's about obsessive behavior towards another person and, you know, focusing on, on the idea of the capturing an image. You know, how much of the person that do you capture I suppose it, that's decided by you. So I, th I think it's a fascinating song, actually. The do, do, you know, those parts are so choice, especially the a cappella ending of the song. Do, 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 do. And number one, no one is to blame. Look, this song is a masterpiece. I mean, go read the lyrics. Talk about a modern day pop standard. Seriously, put the lyrics of this song next to Love for Sell by Cole Porter, Gershwin's Let's Call the Whole Thing Off. Lyrically and musically, just as great. It's the third verse that puts it ahead in my opinion. I mean, you can see the summit, but you can't reach it. It's the last piece of the puzzle, but you just can't make it fit. Doctor says you're cured, but you still feel the pain. Aspirations in the clouds, but your hopes go down the drain. Seriously, exquisite. This song first appeared on Hojo's second record, Dream Into Action, but was re-recorded adding some bells and whistles for radio play. This version was produced by the great Phil Collins and his longtime Genesis producer, Hugh Padgerman. Phil played the drums and added his invisible touch. The new version topped the AC charts, number one, and went to number four in the summer of 86. Here's Hojo's take. I was doing record promotion with the guy from Electra Records, he was a great guy, really lively and fun. We were crossing the road to go to another station. He said to me, yeah, hey man, what do you think of all the amazing women here in San Francisco? <laughs> and I said, well, you know, they are amazing, just like women all over the world, they're amazing. He said, you can look at the menu, but you don't have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and even though that's not really the context I used that in in the song. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because it is, it's not it's like, not. it's not It's a different all. idea. Totally different idea. Yeah. And that's, but that's what triggered it. I love his vocal on this, especially the chorus. Howard Jones is the chairman of synth pop, a beloved voice of multiple generations. And I have to say, one of the nicest guys in the music industry. So help me raise a glass to one of the greats, Hojo. Now to hear all of Hojo's classic, click on our curated playlist below. To get all this on vinyl, click on the Amazon link. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel. Hit us up on Patreon. Your support goes a long way. Help us keep the music alive. Until next time, the records and the truth, my friends. <laughs>